Hi guys! As you know, I recently bought my first sewing machine. Yay! Um, and the first thing I made is this, which is a choker necklace. Um, and I'm so happy with this that I thought I would show you how I made it and make another one that's pretty similar. And just zoom in on this one. I'm gonna be using this red velvet fabric. And I have a bunch of stuff I need to use with it. So I'm just gonna check out what I'm gonna use. The camera is actually set on top of my I can show you on top of this where I keep all my sewing stuff. I really love this because it's really really stretchy and simple and um, you can sew without really um, it being noticeable. Now using the old necklace as sort of a stencil, I've laid it out on the fabric and I'm going to cut a piece that is twice this high and a couple of centimeters longer on each side. So this is my basic piece. So the first thing we're going to do is fold it in half like this so that we get the inside of the fabric outwards and then we're going to pin it all the way like this. Okay, it's all pinned up now, so I'm going to start sewing. Now since uh, we're not going to see these stitches, I'm using black thread even though I have one that's dark red and just making it as fast as possible. So here's the seam, very straight. So what we're going to do now is just flip this inside out. And then we have the basic shape of the choker necklace. I usually put the seam backwards, so not like high up here so that you can see it. I put it in, like fold this so that the seam is in the middle and then flip it around. So it's going to be in towards my neck and you're not going to see it. Now the next step is accessorizing. What do I want to put on my necklace? Well, I'm going to use the same um, stretchy little bra strappy thing um, at the lower end of it, and then I'm going to put a red ribbon in the middle. So I'm just going to measure how much of this I'm going to need, and then cut it and pin it to that bottom of the red part. Okay, so I've pinned it to the bottom of the red, and I don't know if you can see this, but the top of the, this little black piece has already has stitchings on it, so I'm just gonna go over those again, and then do um, a stitch on top of the upper part of this lace as well. First seam, and now I'm gonna do the second. So I've got my lace on now. Very nice. But I'm gonna do some more stuff to this. I have these satin bands. Um, this black. And I have thinner in two different reds. I'm just gonna see which one I like. Okay, so I'm gonna do the double. So I'm gonna go with the black that's a bit thicker and then put this dark red in the middle of it. And when I do this, I always leave like a couple of centimeters outside just in case because this is stretchy and this is not. Okay, so I've laid them out how they're gonna end up and I now have two choices. I have these ribbon buckles that I can use, which is, these are square versions of this heart shape one that I used for the first necklace. And I have this little pink heart. Now this has to be sewn on by hand. You see it has two holes in the middle. And this one you just put it in there like a belt buckle. It's really simple. It 
we see. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go with the ribbon buckle because this is too pink, too cute for this look. I want it to be more like dramatic and yeah. I'm through the first hole. And I'm through the second. So I end up like this. So here's the tricky part. The red ribbon is really, really thin and it kind of wants to slide around on top of the black one. So pinning these to the necklace and then like stitching them on um, in a straight line is going to be a challenge. But what I am going to do once they're pinned on there is sew a straight line from the outer corner and then stop like a centimeter away from this so that I can move it on in case I uh, put the buckle in the back on quickly so that I, that I can like with this one so that I can just correct it like so okay pinning this on was not that easy but it's on there now like so I'm gonna start sewing and for this, since the middle ribbon is red, I'm going to have to change my black thread to a red one. A lot of fabric stores probably don't carry these, um, so you can use these if you can't find something like this. This is, I'm planning on using this for a corset or a bustier that I'm making later. So this is, same thing, just um, looks nice, but they are on a ribbon. So I'm just going to cut that piece that matches my necklace in height, the red part, and then when we have folded in our edges after measuring of course how much we need to fold to fit my neck, I'm going to sew, while I sew this folded part shut, I'm going to sew this little cut piece of ribbon with a hook and eye onto each side. Now we'll just be able to open and close the necklace really simply. Okay, so I have folded the corners down on both sides and pinned them together with the little pieces that I cut off with the hook and eye ribbons. Now before I start sewing anything, I just want to make sure one final time that it, it is the perfect length for my throat. My neck. <laughs> yeah, it feels alright. Okay, so I'm going to sew along this line right here and then make two tiny little lines like this just to make sure that this sucker stays on here. Well, they're on there. I had to struggle for a while, but they're on there. And it doesn't look too pretty from the inside, but that does not matter at all. You're only going to see that inside. all for this time. I hope you liked my pretty little choker necklaces. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.